And this is how you can make a rock, paper, scissors game using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to just say that I have introduced the server shop into my discord server. Using this, you can purchase bot packages that I have created for you. So as of right now, we have the mod mail bot package and the AI bot package. Pretty soon, we're going to have a lot more of these. So if you're interested in checking any of this out, go ahead and click the links in the description below. We also do still have our server subscriptions. So if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel you can click that link in the description below and purchase a god tier on discord or a super god tier on youtube and you'll be able to get access to that source code so again if you're interested in any of this go ahead and click the links in the description below and we can go ahead and get started with the actual code so we're going to go ahead and go over to community and we can go ahead and create rock paper scissors.js and here we're going to get our slash command builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js then we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get rock paper scissors and we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord game cord so if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and install discord game cord in your terminal if you don't do this then this will not work game cord is a great package that has a bunch of different games and we're going to be using it for this specific one so now we can do module.exports and we can open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name which is going to be rock paper scissors and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say play a game of rock paper scissors and then we can go ahead and add a user option here we're going to do option arrow function and we can do option to set name this is going to be the user or we can actually do opponent and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the person to play against and we're also going to go ahead and set required to true on that then we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up here and here we're going to do const and we can get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction and we can also do const opponent equals options that get user and that is going to be our opponent user then after we do that we're going to go ahead and make a new game so we're going to do const game equals new and we can get our rock paper scissors function and we can actually open that up so in here we're going to go ahead and get all of this information so basically the way this is structured is we're going to go ahead and create a command and we're going to give it the interaction so we're going to have message which is interaction this is a slash command game so that's going to be set to true our opponent is going to be our opponent variable which we have got from our user option here this is our embed so you can go ahead and customize the title color and description uh, the color is default set to blurple using the game chord package um, but you can go ahead and get a hex code for that then we have our buttons so that's going to be rock paper scissors that's the name of the buttons and the emojis correspond with the buttons so like the button rock is going to have the rock emoji next to it and the same thing will apply for paper and scissors so the emoji and buttons go together then we can go ahead and get our mention user which is going to be true so that's going to ping the opponent in the message and then this is going to be our timeout time so this is going to be how long the game lasts obviously we have our button style which is just going to be primary our pick message which is going to be you chose and then it's going to give us the emoji that they chose which is actually going to be right up here then it's going to give us the win message. This is once you've won the game, you'll see this. The tie message, again, if you tie the game, both opponents will see this. And then the timeout message will be if the game is unfinished, this is what's going to send. And then, of course, the player only message is going to be if somebody else tries to use the buttons, this is how it's going to respond to that. So that's actually all of the information we need for the game. So now all we have to do is do game.start game. And just like that, we are done. The other thing you could do is do game.on. And then in here, all you'd have to do is game over. Then you could do our async results. And you could open this up. And then this is going to have the results of the game. So it's going to have two player objects, uh, the winner and the loser, obviously. And it's going to give you all that information, including some basic user info. So you could do whatever you want with the result. You could console.log it. You could customize a different win embed. Uh, you could save it to a database if it's like a tournament based, whatever you want to do. If you'd like to get the results, you can actually go ahead and do that with this function. But for me, we already have all this set up within the game chord package. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that part. So with that, we are actually done. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right. So over in the discord server, we can go ahead and get our rock, paper, scissors command. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my opponent. So I'm going to do my alt account. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and ping that account and it's going to go ahead and give them an invite. So I cannot go ahead and accept or reject this because I'm not that user. So if we actually go ahead and go over to that account, as you can see here, now we have our invite on the other account. So I can go ahead and click accept here. And now that it's accepted into the game, I can go on both of these accounts. And as you can see, 
I can now play on both. So on this account, which is the Mr. Awesome account, if I go ahead and use one of these, let's just do rock, and then obviously we now know who's going to win, but if we were to do scissors on this account, as you can see, it's going to say you chose rock and I chose scissors. And then it's also going to go ahead and give me my final embed, as you can see it edited in the embed. So we can look at it over here, it's going to say that my main account picked scissors, and then it's going to say versus my alt account, which picked rock. And that means because obviously rock is greater than scissors that my alt account won the match. You could continue doing this as many times as you wanted. This is all done through the game court package. The other thing is if you let the game go for too long, it will time out. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, that is how you can make an advanced rock, paper, scissors command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.